These shots were taken by Brooklyn-based Arovo, designer and manufacturer of commercial drones. Although located in New York, the company could not have filmed this in their hometown. So New York City has really drastically different needs than a rural place in the middle of Iowa would. Federal drone regs say that you cannot operate an unmanned aerial vehicle above 400 feet. Now that's 400 feet above ground level. Now what's the tallest building in New York? The tallest building in New York is 1,776 feet to the top of the spire. New York City Council Member Dan Garotnik was the legislator driving the current drone restrictions around commercial use in New York. Uh, it was very restrictive, very, very restrictive. Effectively put a moratorium on all drone flights in New York City. Grodnick issued a statement to Reboot New York saying, the unfettered use of drones in New York City has significant implications both for safety and privacy, and we need to get a handle on it before we lose control of the situation. I can't blame local politicians and the FAA for passing the legislation that they're passing because there's a perceived fear about drones. As the lack of threat is fully understood, I think uh, the legislations will ease up and we'll see more use. According to ABI research, the drone industry is slated to be worth $9 billion by 2019, with commercial use providing more than 50% of that revenue. So it's very obvious to us that drones will make a massive, can make a massive economic impact on the city of New York. But if we stifle their growth, if we stifle it before it even begins, then we're going to miss out. Grodnick also said that, quote, while we recognize the potential benefits of using drones, we must ensure that our laws are caught up with our technology. Both sides agree that the economic versus security and privacy conversation will continue as the drone industry expands. For Reboot New York, this is Patrick Smith.